go. Okay. Uh, welcome to class number 17 of the course, uh, Mobile App Development in Android and iOS using Flutter. Our guest today, as part of the guest lecture series, our guest today is Juhi Jafri. Uh, she is product owner of Uran app. Uran is uh, a platform where uh, uh, they manage, you know, uh, people do committees there. Uh, the old uh, 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 committees that have been, you know, part of our culture for centuries. And uh, Juhi Jafri, she has a very interesting background. She's born and raised in Karachi, I think. And then she went to uh, Canada and uh, stayed in Vancouver. And she did uh, uh, her bachelor degree there. And then she went to a bachelor degree from University of British Columbia in philosophy and international relations. And then she went to uh, Vancouver Film School, and she learned uh, design there. And then she worked at a couple of jobs at IQ Matrix and others. And now she is product manager at Oran. Product manager, those who don't know, product manager is the person who takes, who owns the product, who who makes business business decisions, manages uh, the developers, and makes all the iterations and grow the business and grow the app. So she is the product owner. And uh, she's a wonderful person. I have done a talk with her before as well. She's very eloquent. She's very bold. Uh, she has a lot of amazing ideas. And interestingly, I, I, I miss one thing. She's also have, uh, uh, you know, stayed in Africa, Congo specifically for, for uh, years. And she has a multi-dimensional experience that she brings to, on the table. Uh, so with that, I, I hand you over to Juhi Jafri. And uh, if she wants to do another introduction of her, that's, uh, that's welcome. Thank you so much. That was very kind. Um, I'm going to go back to Congo. So I'm going to go back to Congo. So yes, I think he's captured it. Uh, the, thank you so much, Amit. Um, I had one thing to say that my experience is um, it's cross-disciplinary and I handle a lot of, currently in Iran, I handle a lot of um, development related management. So for me, pro product management, what the business wants us to build, translating that into buildable products and over time. So timing is very important. A very large part of my, my goal is Taking what the business wants and explaining that how much time it will take, how much time it will take, how many people are asking. And explaining that to the development team and managing the development team where they understand that we have to make so much today. 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 Agile, unko leke jana hai. we have to keep them on sprints uh, and then also develop my team. So I ask. My developers regularly in one on ones, okay, what do they want to do? What do they want to get better at? Uh, and where do they see themselves? So, that, okay, we both we make a product, we also build like a, a team that wants to stay there. And obviously, when they transition off, they're better off. Like, I don't want my team to go any, like, the reality is people don't stay for very long in, in development. So, you have a developer who has maybe two, three years in your team, and, and unless you give them a go, oh, growth opportunity, they leave to find another place. So my goal is that when my client goes, it doesn't go to my place. It goes to a better place. Like, yeah, it's my goal. When they get out, they get out of the place. And they say, okay, I've grown and I have no place right now. And we also, Ran go, okay, we don't have any place for you to grow. So let's meet again sometime. Let's let's come, you come back. You go, you go somewhere else, learn something better and come back. You, if you're leaving because we can't offer you something that is just education wise so mera ye goal hai so that's where i'm sitting um mujhe jab is talk pe bulaya to main share karti hu screen uh and hopefully i'll help you understand ke ye uh high video pe oh side video pe nahi karna tha uh high floating controls right so pretty much these are the only two slides i have on my uh screen present so, uh, my screen is already yes, so Yes. This is literally, uh, this is literally what I wanted to talk about is how how do I get it? How do I tell people um, in this group? Okay, what do I look for when I think about a good developer? And uh, what is a good developer to me when it's junior, senior, and uh, how to get? 
grow and tips and tricks basically and uh, do teen aur i think samia ne bole pooch rahe the mere app ke uran ke bare mein sawal so i can even get into if anybody wants uh, get into what it means to develop an app and what we are doing at uran as well like where do we see uran go so is there anything before i continue um, i wanted to get a feel of the room the what else that you would want to know from me that isn't on this list here तो आप मुझे बता दें अपने सवाल एंड देन आई बी एबल टू ऐड दैट बिट छोटा सा टॉक होगा मोस्टली आई लीव इट अप टू बी डिस्कशन आई थिंक एक क्वेश्चन मेरा कॉल होगा अगेन ऑन द बिजनेस साइड हाउ आर यू मेकिंग लाइक हाउ आर यू मोनिटाइजिंग लाइक हाउ एट द एंड ऑफ द डे आर यू नेट नेट प्रॉफिट are you generating mm-hmm. cash or is it mm-hmm. still consuming a lot of cash like what is the revenue looks like and what are your cost looks like so okay. agar aap uske upar bhi ha main aapko high level de sakungi wo okay. exactly exactly okay any any uh, anybody else okay so uh, uh, i'll start uh, huh? uh, juhi i have a question uh, since hmm. you have recently uh, updated your app in flutter I wanted to know about the experience. Did you find uh, uh, Flutter is up to your expectation? Can you handle complex things? Was it easy to do them? And generally, how how many months did it take you to build Flutter and get get comfortable uh, as a technology there? And generally, uh, your comments about that experience because okay. my 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 iOS app is also going to be built in Flutter. Previously, it was in Native, and it will also help our students to understand how. uh realistically how much time it takes to make a complex app okay that makes sense chale theek hai main us pe bhi touch karti hu to sabse pehle main shuru karti hu fir uh, what does it mean to be a good junior developer um so i have experience working in a country that's not pakistan um like canada mein maine kaam kiya hai maine thode uh dusre developers se jo us mein bhi hai unse bhi kaam kiya hai um and i worked uh, on other smaller projects with people who were working in berlin so um to me um the the expectation of what a good developer is baseline is very different from what i've experienced when i was in pakistan and i think this is a good opportunity because some people look at it saying ki hamara talent thoda kam hai but i think anybody that's smart knows that there's a gap between what people are looking for and what where people on average are in pakistan and only if you build like if you are better than the average you stick out a lot so this is what i'm going to try to uh, explain here so a good junior developer to me is somebody that has the ability to learn and understand off the bat so um like the i look at the scope of their ability to learn aapko sab kuch nahi aayega isse aap is jagah se jab niklenge aap is course se niklenge i don't expect you to know everything but i expect you to have the ability to learn um and the ability to pick up fast so a good junior developer is somebody who has that ability and can show that potential not just in their resume but when i talk to them in the first 3 months i i hire them uh a good junior developer also is somebody who unfortunately ye pakistan mein thoda kam hai but agile ke concept so when we hire people in canada aapka jo flat out aapki jo uh, assumption hoti hai shuru ki agar aapko ye aata nahi hai to hire nahi karte is the ability to understand what agile development is so aap ye ek um, very standard process hai ab in good app development good software development to understand what a sprint is to understand what a ticket is to understand the basic softwares of agile so this is something that in uran we use so we use jira as a software to track our sprints we use the concept of a user story a task a bug a sub task all of these things these are international standards and my team did not know when we hired them they didn't know any of this it was a very large task for me to explain this but if anybody shows up who knows this in advance and knows properly either left right karte hai bahut log ki ye agile hai lekin hota nahi hai agile we that's a very big big thing for me to take on because a good junior developer should be able to be a scrum like know what a scrum is um and agar aap uh, the great thing about what this world is ki ye remote hai तो आप कहीं से भी काम कर सकते हैं तो मैं आपको पाकिस्तान में अच्छा होने का बता नहीं थी मैं आपको ऐसी चीज बताना चाह रही हूँ क्या यू कैन सिट इन पाकिस्तान एंड वर्क इन लाइक आई एम डूइंग सिट इन पाकिस्तान एंड वर्क इन अ कंपनी फॉर कनाडा और बर्लिन एनी वेयर बट दे लुक एट दिस स्टफ दे वॉन्ट हायर यू इफ यू आर एन एक्सलेंट कोडर इफ यू कैन गेट स्टफ डन आई विल स्टिल नॉट हायर यू इफ यू आर नॉट समबडी दैट इज एबल टू लर्न फास्ट टू कम्युनिकेट वेल एंड टू बी एबल टू टेल मी वट वर्क देव यू डन 
Like I don't need somebody who's super fast and works alone. So, uh, so to me, a good junior developer is somebody that has this ability to talk at least. If you're remote, talk not just real time because that's a waste of time. If I'm at 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm at 7 o'clock in the evening, अगर मैं सिर्फ मेरे डिवेलपर बैठ के वेट करे जो ही ऑनलाइन आएगी फिर मैं उससे बात करूंगी तो सिर्फ दो घंटे मिलेगी उसे तीन घंटे मिलेगी सो यू हैव टू बी एबल टू राइट वेदर इट्स व्हाट्सएप यू यूज स्लैक यू यूज ईमेल हैव टू राइट एंड ए सिंक्रोनसली कम्युनिकेट व्हाट दैट मींस ईमेल पे बात कर सके आप वो वेट नहीं करेगी यार मैं समझा नहीं पा रहा किसी को राइटिंग में तो मैं जाके वेट करूंगा दैट्स अ वेस्ट ऑफ डेवलपमेंट आवर्स So if you're a good developer, you can't write. I I I I explain to them. पहले से कि ये पहले से आपको चाहिए होगा, because you waste the business time. अगर आपको बारह घंटे लगते हैं मुझे बताने में कि problem है, तो आपने बारह घंटे जाए किए business के. I explain that way. फिर मैं उसको समझती हूँ, फिर मैं आपको solution देती हूँ, तो जो जो एक पांच मिनट की चीज होती है, वो लगते हैं दो दिन. It's very important for me to have somebody that gets off the bat like that. Um, so the first two is high level. मैंने ये बता दिया. मैं बाकी सारी चीजें आपको बताती हूँ ओपन इट अप टू द क्वेश्चंस। सो अ गुड जूनियर डेवलपर समबडी हु कैन वर्क इन अ टीम समबडी हु नोज टू बी एबल टू गो एंड रिव्यू वर्क सो आपका काम आया है आपने आपको समझ थोड़ा समझने लगे है आप कि मैंने इतना सा हिस्सा किया इतने बड़े मशीन का उसको मुझे फिट करके टेस्ट करना है उसको मुझे दूसरों को बताना है कि मैंने अगर आप फ्रंट एंड है तो यू डन वन एस्पेक्ट देन दर ए पी आई So how much do you know about what other aspects plug into you? So if you know a little bit about okay, how uh, what does an app, what is a client side validation, what's a what's a server side validation, why is something like this supposed to be done on the server and not the cloud on the client, which is front end, uh, and understand that your API structure is such that it impacts the world. Understand that the designer should have so much time or what should be done to review the things that the designer should review. That's massive for me because then you already know how to work in a team. I can teach all of this, so you can still not have any of it. You could just have two things for me to be happy with: is good communication skills and ability to learn. We had a person who hired us. I mean, he was our first hire. He was out of like Hyderabad University. We weren't even looking for somebody like him. We had an intermediate developer who could grow our team. Ko bada sake. And we did this because we actually the old team went away. So, when you saw the app, the team that was created was not there. हमारी टीम जो है प्योर फ्लैटर की है नए बैक एंड की है एंड वी हैव टू गेट अ न्यू रिसोर्स बिकॉज टू टीच समबडी ओल्ड स्किल्स वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इन पाकिस्तान तो इवन दे रियलाइज दिस वी पार्टेड इन गुड वेज तो ये बंदा जब आया था हमारे पास वी वर लुकिंग फॉर समबडी मच मोर सीनियर बट ही सरप्राइज अस बिकॉज़ उसने जिस तरह से ईमेल की है जिस तरह से उसने फॉलो अप किया कि मैं क्या बेहतर कर सकता हूं अपने इंटरव्यू के बारे में उसने जिस तरह से कोड लिखी है और फिर चेंज करके अपनी कोड वापस दिखाई है हमें दिस इज ऑल इन द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस वी और लाइक यार इसको हम सिखा सकते हैं इसको मैं आई डोंट माइंड कि मैं छह महीने दे के इसको, इसको मैं बस सिखा दू उसको पूरी कोडिंग भी नहीं करनी आती थी बट वी टू केम इन आर बेस्ट वर्क कर फर्स्ट एम्प्लॉय फॉर आर टीम एंड ही वॉज फ्रेश आर तीन महीने भी थे उसकी यूनिवर्सिटी में कुछ नहीं आता था उसको हमारी चीज के बारे में बट वी टू केम इन हैल टू लर्न एंड ही वॉज कम्युनिकेटिंग uh in his own way he was communicating with us so that's uh the first two points uh non coding skills and leveling them up super important to understand and if you are a business owner as well who wants to look into making like a app of your own you need to have you can't be everywhere i i can't be everywhere. i'm not i don't like micromanaging i don't like uh, being a part of a daily i don't like i have to do other things mujhe business se baat karni hai mujhe for example like, दुबई इस्लामिक बैंक से बात करनी है मुझे बजटिंग देखनी है मुझे कस्टमर सर्विस को बताना है कि यार ये चेंजेस आने वाले हैं आपकी दुनिया में क्या चेंजेस आने वाले हैं ट्रेंचेज विद वन टीम एवरी डे सो आई कान बी स्टक कि ये आगे नहीं बढ़ रहे कुछ जूही ने इसको लेफ्ट राइट नहीं किया सो नॉन कोडिंग स्किल्स एंड लेवलिंग नंबर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो बिगेस्ट इज जो आई थिंक इज अ वेरी बिग यू विल गेट अ वेरी बिग बूस्ट इन पाकिस्तान especially but you might also be somebody that can be a consideration in in foreign countries right now unfortunately pakistani developers ko unless you know somebody sitting offshore somewhere nobody hires nobody hires developers cuz this is the quality that's missing like how to write clean code like what does it mean to write team friendly code what is what's the concept of team friendly either either jo code banti hai wo sirf aapko samajh aati hai koi aur banda jaake usko dekhe na usko samajh hi nahi aayegi that is actually causes businesses to lose money 
सो वी रादर नॉट हायर एनी बडी जो अपने आप बैठ के काम करता है बिकॉज वो दो दो साल बाद नहीं होगा या वो उसकी तबीयत खराब हो गई किसी और को जाके उसका कोड देखना है कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा दैट्स फॉरेबल सो राइटिंग टीम फ्रेंडली कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज पार्ट ऑफ वर्क लाइक अंडरस्टैंडिंग क्या आपने क्या क्योंकि आपको भी एक हफ्ते बाद समझ नहीं आएगा आपने क्या किया है तो आप कैसे समझ सकते हैं दूसरा बंदा क्या करेगा सो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन इज everywhere else in the world even india is picked up on this developers know that documentation is a part of work that documentation would be different in different scenarios kabhi kabhi it's a comment in your code kabhi kabhi it's an api doc kabhi kabhi it's a it's basically a spike spike hoti hai jab discovery hoti hai ki maine kya kya try kiya tha main is taraf main lean kar raha hu ya kar rahi hu Uh, that's very important because abhi hamare sath ye ho raha hai teen char cheeze humne nayi document ki thi jis bande ne banayi hai wo hi sar khuja ke keh raha hai ye ho ho kya raha hai uh, it's very important most companies in pakistan lose money and scale slowly because the way we develop is not something that we can go back and change because nobody knows what's happening matlab ki most companies in pakistan i've seen wo apne purane developers ko call karke phone pe bata rahe yaar jab tu idhar tha tune ye kiya tha tum ko yaad hai tera code kidhar hai like this is this is not professional and i see it a lot i i i slowly seen it in bikia as well before i went to iran and this is because banda sochta nahi hai ki main jo abhi kar raha hu kisi aur ko bhi karna hoga so one of the rules on non coding skills is think about how you work if you're not the one who's going to finish it if somebody else is going to pick up and continue what would you do that's how one should that's a good uh, level up skill ki ye is tarah se aap kaam kare कम्युनिकेशन मैंने बताया वर्क ऑन योर रिटर्न वेदर दैट्स इन इंग्लिश और उर्दू ऑडियो नोट्स है जो भी है वर्क ऑन योर वे टू कम्युनिकेट इन राइटिंग व्हाट दैट मींस इज के आपको थोड़ा स्पेसिफिकली लिखना होता है और ये मुझे आदत हो गई है कि उसमें पांच साल से रिमोट काम कर रही हूँ कि दिस दैट जो होता है ना हाउ डज दिस वर्क लाइक द वर्ड दिस कैन मीन फिफ्टी डिफरेंट थिंग्स टू द पर्सन रीडिंग so you have to be very very specific look i looked into the current flow or the current web hook um when i trigger a credit note refunding uh it leads to the the app not picking up the data like why is this happening is tarah se aapko like 5 minute lagta hai aapko 1 second lagega this likhne mein 5 minute lagegi ye pura likhne mein as you continue doing it you will actually save the team and yourself time because you're not wasting time waiting for someone to come online and it's also a document you're documenting as you go ki yaar ye hamari pre conversation thi ye puri idhar hai um so that's level up uh, that's a skill um the ability this is very hard and i think this is something that if someone learns fast they will be super successful in pakistan because the opportunity is huge not just as a developer but as somebody that can own their own business critical thinking and cross disciplinary thinking the ability to do what i do basically if i have somebody in my company who does what i do i would love it because i can do something else so i'll explain what that means in a little bit but critical thinking is the ability to think in a manner which is not just in a bucket ki aap agar accountant hai to aap accountant ki tarah hi soche agar aap authority hai to har cheez aapko nail lage like you have to think like okay how what does this mean if i am a business, if i am a developer what does this solution mean to me that's what everybody thinks like right now i am assuming in this group what will level it up is i am somebody that is also owning a business so is this decision something that will be good for me as a business owner to get that in a developer at that level is a great cuz it's something that i can tell them business i, I can tell them like business goals is kal kal hi maine semi lecture semi dart semi like bhaiyo se baat karne ki maine tarike ek samjhaya unhe ki yaar aap jo times aaye kar rahe hain abhi Like there's something that we were, they were working on, which I told them clearly. Look, we don't need this right now because the business doesn't need it right now. But in coding language, it was something that was very deep. Like it would be much more work for them to do later. कि यार मैं ये अभी बना लूँ ना डेटाबेस सेटअप कर लूँ अभी कर लूँ सब कुछ इसमें डाल दूँ ना तो मतलब कि मुझे बाद में जाके पूरा वापस नहीं करना पड़ेगा. But that's not agile development. So I said, आगे होगा ही नहीं आ. आपका छह महीने बाद हम बिजनेस से नहीं हो गए अगर आप बाकी सारी चीजें डेवलप नहीं करें लाइक इफ वी डोंट रिलीज व्हाट वी हैव व्हिच यू आर ब्लॉकिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस वन थिंग दैट यू थिंक इज इंपॉर्टेंट एज अ डेवलपर आई कांट शो द ऐप टू इन्वेस्टर्स आई कांट स्टैंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ एन इन्वेस्टर एंड गो लाइक हेलो दिस इज अ न्यू ऐप वी हैव अ न्यू टीम वी नीड 8 मिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स टू मेक दिस इनटू अ बैंक यू नो वी नीड x मिलियन यूएस डॉलर्स टू डू दिस इफ आई कांट शो दैट राइट नाउ आई एम नॉट आई डोंट हैव द मनी टू पे यू लेटर सो फॉरगेट अबाउट योर जॉब माय जॉब इज आल्सो गॉन so this is something i need if a, a developer can get that on a fundamental level 
okay, you have to make decisions cross disciplinarily in a in a in a in an app or a business that's plus point to be able to think like a designer a little bit ke dusri ki duniya mein kya ho raha hai main shayad isko pehle se bata do um to be able to make decisions with a very very um specific um process ke pros and cons karo samjho usko aage badhao usko so this is what i think like leveling those up is very important later we can talk about how to build those out uh senior and uh, junior senior or jo growth ka hai wo main chhod deti hu abhi ke liye and i'll open up the floor to like uh, basically uh, taking questions and tips and tricks i think will come out through that abhi muzammil ne ek sawal pucha tha mujhse uh, before we joined i can start with that one he asked say like, what do i look in like in a resume how do i hire a new like uh, a developer out of the uh, a universe out of university or a fresh developer so um uh, muzammil proper process jo hai hamara uran ka and this is if you are applying to any other like good company so google does this amazon does this shopify does this i don't know if vikia does it now but there are other companies in pakistan who do it who you probably like i think patari also does this i'm not sure uh but um patari ne patari probably does but this is a standard way so you're you're given your you get a resume in or you, you try to find somebody that is a reference so if my developer is, is already giving is, is is in my company and he gives me a reference or she gives me a reference they know how i work so i let them know in advance ke you are uh, if you have somebody in your group that knows the culture we have and the people we have and can work here please send their resumes over so we also give that priority as well ke acha isko pata hai ki hamari duniya mein kya hota hai um and so we look at the resumes and we base on what we're trying to look for so if you're a junior developer we look for we don't care there's no like formula ki ye nahi hai to usko off kar do pehle uran mein tha mere aane se pehle tha ki if you're not in karachi if you're remote we don't even look at your resume i did not like that i was saying yeah main khud congo mein baithi hu main apni team ko kaise bol sakti hu tumhe har din office aana hai like i had a big fight with the rest of the company on this kya i can't lead the team and tell them to be sitting in the office every day when i am not in it so uh, we the structure we built is i can very easily find out if someone struggling can't finish work because of the agile process that we've set up so we don't look at any specific thing but if you're new new we look at your ability to learn we do definitely give you a test so if you have any code you've written on your own um so if you are enthusiastic about development you have some repo of your own So if you're not enthusiastic about development, we can easily know that you have no repo. You are saying that you have to be a developer, but you have no repo. Most developers do it. You know, they they make their own little things somewhere on the side. We would like to see that. So we see their potential. That okay, you have how much you have. What is your interest? What is your learning? Um, your resume has to be very neatly written. Uh, right now in Pakistan, the resumes I get, the, the ones that stick out are very different, and they're neatly written, and they're specific to the thing that they're. applying for lagta nahi hai ki unhone bas haath se utha ke bas hame jo bhi resume dusro ko de rahe hain na bahar bahar road pe khade ho ke fek rahe hain is tarah se nahi lage which is what 99% of the resumes we get look like ki they don't they don't specify for the company they're going for they don't write a cover letter nothing um so we we give you a little test it's a technical test and then we ask you cultural questions and the cultural questions are basically to understand what kind of human being are you and uh, would we want to work with you so no matter how good you are if you are forgive me for the words an asshole i don't want you in the team because you ruin everything else if you are arrogant if you can't take orders from a woman out like we don't want people like that so for no matter how good you are cuz you will we will lose more money on you later than we will make when you are fast or you're good so muzammil does that answer your question kisi ka haath bhi utha hua hai to main us pe bhi aaungi Mm, yes uh it mostly answered my question but uh, i want to ask one thing uh, when were you say uh, like the agile is like how do you say it's different hai. and can you specify ke uh, some of the courses you think of standard ke which i can follow hmm. for the agile and others okay so uh, agile uh, is like a theory so the it's like anything like capitalism consumerism so uski aapki principle same hai uski implementation alag hoti hai so there's no perfect way to implement it so uh, the theory i think i i 
believe that the best learning happens if you pick up a book and learn also. So, आप कोर्स भी ले ले uh, मेरे हिसाब से द बेस्ट बुक्स जो है मैं अगर आपको uh, अभी लिख दू अमीर प्लीज रिमाइंड मी सेंड दिस लिस्ट यू there are uh, yeah there are two books that uh, i when i was in canada my my company could afford to buy and give to a team so if we had a very new team we would have like a weekly reading sessions together and we discuss it it take us one month three months to read it but uh, there were two books it's ek ek hai agile learning ke naam se um it's just called agile learning it's a nice book about the principles of agile um and then the other book i can't remember the name those two i i would recommend a course i recommend those two books and i would recommend it if you could do it with a team as well so like if you have friends with you who want to learn the same thing or if you can find find somebody so read as a team together because the best way to learn it is actually apply it courses i like online course nahi bataya gaya itna to main ye list bhej dungi इन दो किताबों की एंड uh, इनमें से एक भी आप पढ़ लेना इट विल बी गुड एंड आई टेल यू द वैल्यू ऑफ एन एजाइल टीम एमेजॉन स्टार्टेड इन वैनकूवर वन आई वाज लीविंग एंड दे वुड पोच पोचिंग इंटायर टीम्स वो एक बंदा नहीं लेके जाते थे वो जो आप मतलब कि हमने मेहनत करके ये टीम बनाई है जो तीन साल साथ काम कर रही है दे आर वर्किंग ऑन देयर एजाइल एंड देयर सुपर फास्ट Amazon would come, pay them all 20% more than we did and pick the whole team up and take it because that team is valuable. that team know how to work together how to break tickets together that's the value of agile and that happened to four of our teams ek banda ko we found out ek banda interview kare mat chalo saat logo ko na baith ke ab because they take the whole team they take the tech lead they take the entire development team so uh, i'll give you the courses uh, i'll give you the books if i can find it right now as well i'll see um next question Assalamu alaikum Juvi thank you for taking out the time for today's lecture uh, you just mentioned uh, like a skill set which is really important for like every country especially pakistan which is critical thinking mm. can you please tell us uh, how to develop the skill set or how to polish it because ah. if we learn critical thinking we can actually look at problems and start coming up with solutions so even if we not developers like you said it's important it's crucial for like running a business but if i look at it from like a lay, layman's perspective if mm-hmm. I, if i'm a good critical thinker i'll come up with more ideas i can you know like pitch my ideas and they'll be more valuable if i know how to present them so yes. it all starts with critical thinking so could you please like give us some tools or tell us where to start and how to develop those skills over over the next Yes, I yeah. love to. That's that's something okay. that I am actually personally interested in as well. Um, right. critical development of critical thinking, and you're right. It's one of those things that will make you successful in any um any field you're in. Before I jump in, I just want to make sure that many chat me a a book ka link bhej hai. That's one of the books I'm talking about. The other one I'll find. Um. it might take me a little bit more time i'm not great with the uh, like uh, remembering the the actual edition and the actual uh, co-authors on it to mujhe 20 tarah ki milegi jo hi chat mein mujhe koi link nazar nahi aaya shayad mera problem baaki logo ko ali adil ko maine direct message diya sorry everyone karte hai uh let me just go into everyone right here and let me copy this and then message it so this is the book agile learning um it's a very good book and i have read it five times with five different teams just to help them understand what the concept of agile is and how do we make our own rules of agile so every team would have like chale sahi hum ek like we we follow it x way it can't be me as an individual human being is tarah se follow karti hu uh, then it won't work cuz you work as a team and you develop things as a team right so um मैंने लिख दिया एक और बुक देने को अब मैं सवाल करती हूँ मेंटल मॉडल का सो सॉरी क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग का सो क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग टू मी इज समथिंग दैट इज वेरी क्रॉस डिसिप्लिनरी सो क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इज थिंकिंग अबाउट थिंकिंग इन मेंटल मॉडल्स एंड थिंकिंग इन सिस्टम सो द प्रोसेस यू टेक इट डजेंट मैटर वॉट द रिजल्ट आर बिकॉज यू कैन गेट बैड रिजल्ट either like you you can get results you don't like if you even use a good method of thinking but 99% you are your thinking process is such that like you can actually make it better if you get bad results so um mental model ka kisi ne concept suna hai what a mental model is no 
okay. at least I haven't. So okay. Easily. So um, there there's things in the world they're called mental models, and if you search for them, you'll find out what those are. But they're basically core concepts across disciplines. So there is economics, there's science, there's physics, there's biology, there's nature, there's uh, there's like psychology. There's these like core ways of um, thinking that don't change. And if you can apply those concepts in any decision you make in life, you will become better. So uh, there, I'll give you some resources on that, but I'll explain to you what I mean by that. So when I started off, especially when I was, this was about five, six years ago, um, uh, I was a kid in my company, I every month I meet him uh, as a mentor. Um, so he was great at decision making and he taught me the first few I know. So when I was starting off, I would think of this one thing, um, which was, is this reversible? So this is something Amazon does a lot. decision, think, ask yourself these questions as you go and then it'll, they'll help you make better decisions. So an example, if you're to make a choice between two things, uh, there's a mental model that you ask yourself a question that is this a reversible decision? That if I do this now, and it does not what I, it's not what I like to do, or it's not something that works out well, can I reverse the decision? And if the answer is yes, then it's not a high price, like it's not, it's not a big deal, just go do it. If it's no, then you take a step back and go, oh, okay, so if I can't reverse it, what are the second order effects? So second order effects are things like, normally people, when they make a decision, they decision and that's it, that's where they stop. A, a good critical thinker goes like, Acha, out of that one decision I made, I made another, I, it's, there's an effect. And what is the effect of my effects? So second order effects. So this is this is hard to do, but when you do it over time, it becomes easy. It's natural to me now in ways, ki I make a decision banaogi. Um, we will start releasing the app. For example, we have a new ki app. Can there, our support phone goes, like our support number goes directly to our business contact, WhatsApp. So you want to help, you need help, you click on an area, it pops you up into WhatsApp and our business number, like our account number is open for support. Now that's a very great, that's the effect of what we're building. But the second order effect is I have to tell the customer support team that this is going to be what's going to happen and what's going to change in your world and prep them before. Because it doesn't matter to, it's not cool enough for my customer, oh wow, you opened me WhatsApp support, I'm going to open it. If my customer support team doesn't know that's going to happen, that's going to be a shitty experience. So in order to make a good product where the customer feels great, you have to think about second order effects. Um, another big one I still use to date is, um, am I, is this in my area of circle of competency? So there are things in this world that I don't know. And to accept that, to know where that line is. Okay? I am great within this circle. Like this is a circle of my competency. This is a circle of my skill. I am great within this circle. I know what's happening within this circle. So if someone asks me to make a decision in my role, the first thing I go like, ye meri area mein aata hai nahi? Agar mujhe lagta hai, nahi aata, the next question I go like, who, who do I rely on for things that are not in my circle? So I have people in my mind. If tech is a question, मेरे पास एक टेक का बंदा है अगर मेरे पास बिजनेस का कोई सवाल है और बिजनेस की चीजें मेरे पास बिजनेस का कोई बंदा है सो नोइंग दिस दिस इज अ मेंटल मॉडल सो यू डोंट मेक बैड डिसीजन सो सुन समवन से कि ये मीटिंग होने वाली है मैं पूछती हूं इस मीटिंग में क्या बात होगी और मुझे क्या करना होगा जब वो मुझे बताते हैं तो मैं बोलती हूं ठीक है आई एम गोना ब्रिंग माय टेक गाय इन द रूम लाइक मैं यूसुफ को भी लेके आ रही हूं कमरे में एंड देन आई टेल यूसुफ पहले से यूसुफ यार ये हमसे ये इंटीग्रेशन के बारे में पूछेगी आई नो दिस का but you got to help me figure out the impact of what they propose on what we currently want to have and what will happen in the future. Are people getting the idea of a mental model here? Like there are ways to think. So that's what critical thinking is. And then doing it in a process. So having a feedback loop. So process means and then on like consciously decision or result like, should I change the way I think? So close that loop. So I'm going to show you a very, very good, uh, an excellent resource. I still use it to date. I'm actually paying for it now because you can take as much money as you want from me because they have actually made me succeed in life, uh, the things they teach. Uh, it's basically a guy who was in the Canadian version of CIA. Uh, and he just like writes down what other people have learned in life, but uh, he writes down in a manner where you can actually learn. 
So he gives you all of the mental models here. So what are mental models? Learning to think better, building like a toolkit of mental models. So I send you this. So this would be a great place to start. Uske baad, there are some books, for example, any uh, cross-disciplinary book. So you, you read this and you, I think Sapiens is a book. Uh, it's not about anything to do with development, but it explains to you the concept of human history, but through different, different disciplines. Um, start reading books like that. Like apne, economics can't explain the world to you, but if you put economics next to physics, next to science, next to biology, it, it starts making sense to you. So for example, um, systems thinking, feedback loop, all of these, there are about roughly 138 recognized mental models, but you probably need to know just five, six. I say um, human nature and judgment is a big one. So this, I think, Ali, uh, just a question. So bias is an incentive. For example, when you're presenting and most people when they present, probably uh, most people when they present, they think of what they would like to hear. You know, like ye or like ye agar app invest app and there. But that's probably the opposite of what the other person wants to hear. So you got to think about like, what is their, what, what is their aspect uh, that they want to hear and what would they like? And then frame your um, conversation around it. Uh, understanding the biases. These are things that millions of years have taught us. So this is all like the, the issues that happen. For example, when I change something at work, I know because I am changing the way they live life. I am making it uncomfortable. So be prepared for that. So and how do you prepare that? Is you tell them like in advance, saying, yeah, ek pehle, din baad karne wali hu, aur bohat dard hoga. So please give me all your pain, like open it up. So they are, they don't hold it in. I may not do anything about that, but I'm listening to you, but they are happy that someone is listening, someone has listened to my heart, and how many times Facebook changed, how many times I got to Facebook, how many times I got to Facebook, Instagram changed, one month later, nobody has an issue with it. So this is a very good uh, resource. I would say start here. Read each one, understand yeah. it, really, truly read it. Juhi, I just want to check in and say that it's absolutely stunning stuff that you're talking about. I mean, it's, it's absolutely okay. amazing. You know, uh, I am learning a lot. So I just wanted to say, you know, this is just small okay, mind blowing. I never... And, and secondly, the example that you were talking about, probably the most famous example was when WhatsApp released that feature where they could, the other person can see your blue tick. You know, the, it looked like for a week that the whole world is uh, shaking up. Okay. Every, everybody yeah. realized yeah. The, the benefit of it. You know? Yeah, yeah. And this is very important in app development because you will get people who say that I get it. I and I just hold on to that feedback. I don't do anything with it. So it's not... A, it's really important to not make them feel like the feedback is useless. Make a ticket about, about it. Call it feedback. Keep it there. So they feel like they have been heard. No, write it down. So it happens a lot. We've changed the way we talk in our app. So we've made it more um, less about like payment, payment, payment. It's more about saving. You know, like transfer us money, not pay us money. Because uh, the first thing we ask in Iran is, hi, how are you? Apasido. So I didn't want that to be the case. You want to be like, hi, how are you? Start saving, you know, like give us the money that we will give back to you. That was a big problem internally and it still is, but I have no data. I just have people's feelings. So I want to release the app and go like, okay, how many of our actual people who are going to use this have the same feelings, but I can't tell the internal team this. I have to hold on to that data. So I have made a ticket about it. Okay, okay people feel like the save now or this pay now, it's confusing. Why is it confusing? I know that because it's a mental model shift. They were used to calling it pay now and now they have to call it save now and this hurts them slightly. Uh, things like this. Um, uh, so keeping that feedback and knowing that let's give it some time. There's some things people expect that you flow the flow. For example, when you're showing like an app and you're demoing it, you're not showing it as if it's in, like, there's a, how do I explain this? Thing? Give me one second. Yeah. So when you show the app, which is with me, I show you a complex flow. Ki, how do you make like a payment that is uh, like two committees of one payment? For example, 
right so i'm showing something in a new app but i haven't the the person who's seeing it like the my halima who is like the business the ceo she's seeing it wo pehli dafa dekh rahi hai ye flow to usko lagta hai yaar ye bahut confusing hai abhi which is true if you're brand new in it and you land on this page and you see this and you've only seen the previous flows once it's confusing but if you're if you're to me that's a good feedback i wrote it down because i want to see if this is true and why i want to say this is true is i don't completely go change it right now is why is the thing i've built is the simplest technologically wise and design wise we can build so when we get actual feedback back we can actually evolve versus andar ke logo ka main feelings leke usko thoda complex bana do fir usko ja ke duniya ko do and the duniya says ki ye to sahi nahi hai so i am avoiding that right now i'm collecting data why i think she has an issue is because that screen if you are a user you probably have learned it by that point aapko pehle pehli screen milegi usko aap samjhenge thoda so by the time you reach that screen you already have an idea of the app right she didn't get that opportunity she just saw my screen she saw the basic app uh, like screen once and then she jumped into the flow so i understand it's confusing number 2 how long will it stay confusing for the reality is new things are confusing so ek dafa you gonna istemal kiya confusing hai theek hai dusri dafa istemal kiya abhi bhi confusing hai this so layering time so knowing how to think cross disciplinarily helps me right now make bets like this ki i can stand by i if i can stand in front of like a team of people and go like ye kyu kiya tha and i can confidently say ki isliye so it, it's helping me make bets around my app Okay, this is okay to not make right now. Let's just leave it like this. See the data. Okay. Any other questions? I hope I answered that one. It was a bit long. Anybody else have a question? Um, thank you so much. Okay. Na, I'm sorry. Your name, Naima. It's Naima. Naima. Yes, ma'am. Naima. 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 Naima
now we'll go fix the other things so i had to listen for a month uh, halima ke goals farwa ke goals ke acha unko apni apni duniya mein kya karna hai and then i had to explain to them i looked at my world as well and like look if you want to achieve all of these things here's how it's going to be like if we continue down the road that we're going down so yeah uh, uh looking this is again mental models like look, look at one scenario you have not changed the app we're using the same app what does that look like in terms of resourcing what does that look like in terms of time and how much money that would cost and how fast can you release new things so that's what i did and then i looked at here's our bet that we're taking which is if you build a new app build everything from scratch what does that look like uh, what are the resourcing and costing of that what is the risk of that and uh, how fast can we release so the, the, i did these two things and i had to do a little bit of research on my end because i had no idea ki uh, talent pakistan mein kaisa hai team kitni jaldi release karegi so that i'm taking an example and showing you so i said this was a one month two month thing and then i have to come back to them and go look if this worst case scenario for us let's go with the new i'm betting on this worst case scenario teen mahine baad we have the old app to still go fix you know like what is the what is the backup plan so we started that way and then you have to have the ability to show your successes so they the trust grows so after we got the go ahead to push forward and make this new app uh every um to this day every five weeks we give a demo my developers have to demo their work to the investors like there is a deadline a solid deadline and that's where we go we what we promised you four weeks ago here's how much of it we've delivered here's how much we haven't delivered that's what we're doing now but on a regular we have a like we i chat with them about objectives i chat with them about a chat we a goals at and those are high level things that now we have enough trust in ki if In, so that's one aspect does that make sense to me abhi bataya then the other thing is knowing when to lead and knowing when to follow so this is very important no matter who you are so you are junior developer senior developer where i am at where halima is at and it's nothing to do with seniority that's a problem in pakistan ke mai jo naye developers aaye unko thoda mujhe sir for example mai pehle bolti mujhe ma'am nahi bolo mujhe ju hi bulao Because as soon as you start saying, calling me, ma'am, I'm putting you putting me in a figure of authority, and there's some things I rely on you to help me make a decision. So please uh, don't call me, ma'am. Huh. And Juhi, Juhi, that's exactly what I did in the first class. I said, you know, I don't want to be called sir. I am Amir. Call me Amir. Uh-huh. You know, uh-huh. and 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 you know, like it's it's really helps. You know, but uh, uh, I just wanted to say that Samira had a question. Uh, Samira, if you have a question, you 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 should like uh, ask it now. Yeah. You know, I didn't have a question. I just had a comment to make, and um, I didn't want to disturb her, so I just wrote it in the. Uh, okay, chat. I see. You you can repeat it now. You can repeat it. I mean, uh, I just, uh, मतलब whatever uh, Juni was talking about, all the uh, 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 documentation practices and uh, all the agile development method uh, met, um, methods and the uh, human uh, humanness. uh in it in a, in an app uh yeah. and uh dealings with uh everyone so all that's like uh in uh software engineering uh, best practices and uh, uh human computer computer interaction that's the new thing uh yeah uh, that's i think you have just said all those things informally yes That's a lot. Of, yeah, a lot of what I think, a lot, a lot of what I'll say here has nothing. Just they didn't originate from me. Somebody smarter than me has thought of them before. So nothing mm-hmm. that I'll tell you here is like going to be uh, like an original thought. It's going to be whatever okay. I've learned. Yeah. So Sabira, are you saying you've already learned those things in your uh, uh, classes? Is, is that is that what you're saying, Samira? Uh, G. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But Juhi, just to for you know for the uh, completeness, I must say that most of the students probably don't know about it because this course is their first interaction with the with programming. Like you know, Naima and other oh, people yes. have have absolutely, absolutely no background, no no background in uh, programming or computer science. Some even don't have a background in in sciences or mathematics. You know. So, yeah, yeah. This course की बात कर रहे हैं या आपको कोई और course लिया हुआ है आपने जिसके बारे में बात कर रहे हैं? Actually, I've studied all these courses. 
uh, but okay yes yes the way you the way you said uh, about it uh, is sort of it is it's not practiced in pakistan like i have a uh, um, long time ago i worked in uh, one or two software houses and uh, these kind of practices are nowhere around like this yes. human, humanness yeah. is not around in pakistan okay 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 i i must uh, intervene here and say that uh, i worked in like a few software houses in some form or the other agile is practiced i'm not saying they are perfected it or they are making the most use of it but it is practiced recently uh, like i'm i'm talking about the last decade and i'm seeing more and more good companies are using it so samira what uh, are you talking about uh, you used to work in a software house before that or have you worked in a software houses recently you know i just did an internship once but the what i'm talking about is the uh, human factor uh the way you he talk about it like uh, talking to your uh, colleagues and talking to your uh, uh uh getting feedback from your yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's that's, that's it, not that that's it, not practical about that that's, thing yeah yeah yes. human perspective that is why i agree with the julie 100% that that is why our resources because they cannot they don't have the ability to work in a team really well the way the work the world has evolved in that sense you know that is why julie i agree with her when she says that pakistani developers are not uh, you know sort of uh, sought after really well in the entire world you know they they don't know how to work well in a team and deliver products and services quickly and profitably yeah one of the things that i think is very important to uh, understand in pakistan is the culture that we've been brought up in as well so i don't think this is a technical culture and i i have a very big issue with how we educate our people as well like jo hamari jo root system hai ke 12 a's leke aa jao lekin wo a's lagao kahi duniya mein kahi apply nahi hote like but i think the there's two things that work really badly in pakistan that work really badly in like uh, japan a long time ago is hierarchy uh, i think that stops collaboration in a manner where you can have conflict i think we avoid conflict because we think ke hum bado ko that's why i said ye ma'am me bolo ye korea ek ek ye ek ek kahani hai uska exact main um, time nahi bata 70s mein hua tha ye aur ye korean airline ke sath ho raha tha so a lot of planes were crashing in uh, that were flown by the korean airline they didn't they didn't know why they thought it was basically like plane ki problem hai and those those uh, the, those model of planes were being used by other airlines as well and nobody had an issue like nobody had any issue with those planes besides the korean airline and they were getting a bad rep so they are hired external people to go ke yaar hum log apne planes crash kare ja rahe hain matlab ki ye ek do aur log gire to hum rahegi nahi ek company so they hired an external team to go um and see what's happening and what was happening was not an issue with the plane or not an issue with the with the like the technology it was an issue with the co-pilot the guy that was junior to the main guy being too scared to tell the captain ke bhai kuch galat ho raha hai like to stand up and go like i want to take over the plane because you are doing something wrong and the people lost their lives like this is how this is how much like these biases impact the world and in pakistan the biggest thing i have to break in my team is jab jo main bolu usko yes nahi bolo mujhe samjhao ki yaar ye ye kya problem hai tumhari ka fight like let's you take that domain like i might be your team leader but i need you to step up and help fill up the gaps like what are things not in my circle of competency so i do that with halima as well so she's my ceo she makes business decisions but she understands there's a point in a decision where she can't make it and it's not supposed to be because she is junior to me or senior to me it's expertise and domain knowledge and that's what i grew up in canada when i started working is i could stand up to my tech lead i could stand up to my boss and boss and say you know what i'm in the trenches and i i see what's happening if we make this this is a problem how do we solve this problem and they would take that data to make better decisions so if our hierarchy is messed up ke boss jo bolta hai wo just point karke wo kar lo aur banda feedback aake upar bhejta nahi hai then we will continue to make bad products or make bad decisions around products good products that don't survive uh iski na jo hi mere zehen mein ek bahut achhi example aa rahi hai hamare society mein na raat ke waqt bahar na hamare ghar ke bahar guard phirta hai theek hai na to mere khayal mein raat ki security ke halat ke bare mein na baat karne ke liye the right guy is that guy ke raat ko 3 baje yahan par kya hota hai kis tarah ke suspicious log phirte hain तो आई आई थिंक द राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन के लिए राइट बंदे को कांटेक्ट करना या उससे किसी कंसल्टेशन लेना बहुत जरूरी है 
Uh, yeah, answer the original question name aapka? Yes, ma'am, I got my answers. Thank you. Okay, great. Is there anybody else with any other question? I think there was a Flutter and Oran one, but any 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 other one? Okay. Probably Saad okay. wanted to say something. Uh, probably Saad wanted to say something at one point. I am not sure if he still uh, has that question. Ji Saad. Uh, no, uh, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm just looking through all the models and the one that I like is popping up. Um, Asha, so I will tell you a little bit about Oran. I asked that you have forgotten your name. I forgot your name from the original ID. Samia. Is that correct? आप प्लीज अपने क्वेश्चन रिपीट कर ले जो आपने शुरू में बोले थे पूछे थे मुझसे अच्छा एक वो ऐप रिलेटेड है सारे सो नॉट टेक रिलेटेड तो एक मैंने आपकी आई थिंक जो अब ऐप है ना उसमें यू आर क्रिएटिंग योर ओन ट्राई टू क्रिएट एन ओन प्रोफाइल ऑफ द यूजर ऑब्वियसली यू हैव टू ऑथेंटिकेट द यूजर इट्स अ मनी रिलेटेड बिजनेस यू आर इवेंचुअली रनिंग सो आप उसका एनआईसी मांग रहे हैं उसका आई थिंक प्रूफ ऑफ एड्रेस भी ले रहे हैं तो उसमें आपको क्या मतलब के डू यू थिंक इज इट सफिशिएंट इज इट इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ सॉफ्ट केवाईसी obviously hmm. bank jitni extensive nahi hai but uh, is it sufficient in the pakistani yes. context uh, okay. um i also believe that what banks ask for is absolutely rubbish now yes, absolutely exactly. rubbish no be, so no yeah so there's two things that are very important to know and i think this is across like the some two of them are one of them is like a global issue and the other is like a specific issue to pakistan and other pakistan related com- con- countries yeah. anything that's industry any industry that existed 200 years ago and still exists now is a lethargic company and it is takes some time to change so what they ask for now might not be needed anymore compared to 200 years ago pakistan is uh, like a heightened version of that ke for example maine 5 uh, saal pehle ja ke ek joint account khola tha apne ammi abbu ke sath so when i started earning i was in canada and i was like look i'll make an account with you and i will like that's the place where i transfer a little bit of the money and um, you are able to use it as an emergency uh, fund that was my first experience since i was 19 my first experience entering a bank in pakistan to do my own thing everybody was like yaar bande ko bula lo banda kar lega maine bola nahi like aisa nahi hota kisi bande ko bulaogi somebody else in line will be taken like i had this whole like you know model ke is is um इस हैबिट को मैं गालियां देती और इसी हैबिट को मैं इस्तेमाल कर रही हूं तो मैं तो मुनाफिक हूं तो मैं खुद जाके खड़ी हो के लाइन में आई टुक माय पेरेंट्स देयर देयर एजिंग एंड देयर लाइक यार मैं जानता हूं उधर ब्रांच मैनेजर बैठा है उसको आई सेड नो लेट्स गो डू दिस सो वी स्टूड इन लाइन एंड इट टुक अ वाइल आई गॉट टू द पर्सन एंड इन दैट रूम आई टेल यू समथिंग मेरी अम्मी मेरे अब्बू और मैं थे आउट ऑफ अस थ्री माय मॉम एंड आई वर्कड माय डैड रिटायर्ड सो ही वाज नॉट अर्निंग इनकम सो द गाय सैट and did not look at me did not look at my mom handed all the forms to my dad to go like ye bhar de and mujhe itna gussa aaya cuz it was something that was very important cuz my mom handles the finances my dad like you know what i am done aap chill kare like a bill my mom pays uh like budgeting my mom did when i went to school and university my mom budgeted everything for me so any financial conversation i had in my whole life is with my mom Like, अच्छा स्कूलिंग कितने की है यूनिवर्सिटी कितने की है स्कॉलरशिप कितने की मिल रही है नेवर हैव आई हैड दैट विद माय डैड सो टू मी टू सी दैट टू गो लाइक यार तुम कौन हो बंदे जो मेरे बाप को ऐसे पकड़ा रहे हो सो आई आस्क हिम द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज़ वी आर बैकवर्ड वी आर लाइक मोर देन बैकवर्ड ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट वी हैव दिस रैंडम फॉर्म उसने एक फॉर्म दिया मुझे हाउसवाइफ प्रूफ ऑफ इनकम लाइक आई नॉट इवन मैरिड एट दैट पॉइंट मैं अपने अबू और मम्मी के साथ एक अकाउंट खोल रही हूं मैं बोला भाई ये क्या चीज है इसको मैं साइन भी करूं तो झूठ बोल रही हूं स्टेट बैंक की रिक्वायरमेंट है इसके अलावा बैक सो इट्स जस्ट बैकवर्ड व्हाट वी आस्क इज एब्सोल्युटली बैकवर्ड सो वी आर चेंजिंग द वे पीपल आस्क इंशाल्लाह एंड व्हाट आवर गोल इज टू लाइक रियली शेक अप द बैंकिंग इंडस्ट्री इन पाकिस्तान बट आल्सो मेक इट मोर इंक्लूसिव टू वुमेन सो टू अस द थिंग इज दैट यू नीड टू बट दिस इज हार्ड टू डू इन पाकिस्तान अदर काइंड आई कैन ओपन अ बैंक वेरी इजीली ऑफ माय एप्पल लाइक फोन इन पाक्स इन इन कनाडा आई जस्ट साइंड अप फॉर अ क्रेडिट कार्ड हियर जस्ट टू टेस्ट द प्रोसेस इट्स कॉल्ड uh the credit card is called uh kobo 
it's a digital credit card it's international everywhere so i signed up for it mujhe 2 minute lage they verified me did everything so we have that standard in pakistan is just the thing that you trust which is nadra isn't set up properly so that's where we come so right now it's good enough for because we're not right now what you see in the app that you have we are not handling money for anybody so our verification is good <clears throat> it's good enough there are a lot of manual calling to go like aap wohi hai jo bande hai ab jo hum app nikal rahe hai usme hum that's one of the reasons why we can't straight up deal with money right now we're first leaning towards bill payment so we set up the whole bill for you you go pay using a bank at this point we're still okay in the future we're going to get a lot better authentication but we're not going to do it the same way so we're going to be uh, finding loopholes in how state bank has set up their requirements so some of them are not even valid anymore um and we will build that verification in but our goal is okay it's we should never feel like a bank like women don't like going to a bank in pakistan they don't like feel they automatically feel like an outsider so we should we want to do this in a way where women don't ever have to feel like they're an outsider any i hope that answers your question samia yes yes that's good enough and uh... there was another question you had on yes yeah. i also had questions about what future you have inside for your app because you know ye to apne aap mein ek bahut badi journey hai if you like uh, whether you want to start another venture or when or whether you want to take this concept forward and also what is like the financial position of your venture currently and uh, right so hamara bada dream hai agar aapko this for me this is what committed me to it so i decided ki i want to do it instead of doing consulting i want to jump into one thing and dedicate 10 11 years to that one thing so this is all around for me so i believe in it uh, and i think we have the ability to be the first women led pan asian bank like that's where we can go like we can step up and do this we we are much like like we can replace many banks for men and women because we're very lightweight uh committee se shuru kiya but technically what a committee is either a loan or a savings account so if you take the money early it's a loan and if you take the money late in your committee it's a savings so this was a starting point like 2000 years ago this is what a bank used to be before we started like after bartering this was what it was there was no institution so we're starting from there and it's actually the most used uh, especially in our economy it's the most used banking system for the lower middle and the middle income especially in women so our goal is to get there is to become somebody that has a backing of a bank right now so um, having a wallet a digital wallet or a credit card or a debit card uh, our bread and butter is our way we authenticate so i'm going to not going to give you too much about that but we have we are probably going to be the first one that can actually get a credit score on a person in pakistan so how yes, exactly. safe they are to lend money exactly because i think sabse bada issue jo i think capitalization if you are going to do that lending business aapne capitalize kaise karna apne venture ko to aapko koi bank ya aapko institution ek chahiye hoga because you are now extending loans and you know aise loans honge basically jo housewives ya is type ke hoga you know jaise india mein ek bada wo concept aa gaya where they have you know buy now pay later in duniya mein hai aur pakistan mein i think koi aisi apps maine sune idea so it's a regulated entity hai aur uske liye sabse bada prerequisite hai aapka credit score hona aur india mein ye advantage hai ki wahan pe credit scores ke liye thodi wo kaam wo ek kar chuka institution so but now you have to develop your own credit score aur wo ek wo bhi ek apne aap mein ek bahut different ek challenge for the hmm. pakistani economy so hmm. i think who our especially how you capitalize your venture so that you are able hmm. to extend loans to your customers and how okay. is the financial position so far of your uh, we actually make 21% of every committee we run so we're Not the way we do it yeah so but the way we do it is we we uh, we funnel uh, we make sure that our uh, so most people sabse pehle batao a pakistani house has a lot of money like a lot of money and the the problem is they aren't able to save it and the reason why they aren't able to save it is it's very liquid to them because they're not in the bank it's not sitting in a bank so we have issues like is bandi ko pata hai mere paas ye paise hai ye aake meri meri saas se aake itne paise mangti hai main usko nahi nahi bol sakti so if it's tied in a committee they can go like sorry meri committee nahi nikli 
So we we finding ways that people go like okay they want to save it's just that they've never ever been taught how to and they need that like external discipline okay, if I have to give it to a committee and there's a very a social aspect to our uh, our uh, committee because your name comes up if you're not paid people know you haven't paid so there's a very big ownership to people कि यार मेरे बंदे को समझ आएगा कि पता चल जाएगा अगर मैंने पैसे नहीं दिए so we have a very small group very very small percentage of people who are defaulters and the reason why they defaulters are bad planning we are not good at planning and especially in pakistan like wo bolte hain ha main is mahine karunga pata chala wo is mahine nahi kar sakte usko agle mahine karna hoga so they just understand ki what does it mean ki mere 5000 meri pocket mein nahi hai ab so usko ek mahine lagta hai samajhne mein ki yaar itna bada difference hai to chalo ab mujhe samajh aa gaya hai ab main agle mahine se karunga so most people are like that they are very very small group of people who are evil in the sense ke wo aaye the bas cash lene aur wo cash leke chale gaye bahut kam log hai aise bahut chota group hai so the risk is very low that way um the other is that we make sure that the fee we take so we take fee in the beginning uh, and that's a risk fee and that's something that's sharia compliant as well and we we use that fee to make our funding to stop like other people from feeling the pain so if the risk we're taking on you is putting you in the group in the beginning and we use that money to put it in a pool and that pool is something we pay our def- agar banda chala gaya to we step in and we have to pay their committee right so we use that pool to do that and uske andar jo hamari jo percentage bachti hai wo hamara income hota hai but uh, that's one model uh, uh, that's what you see right now but what we're building is something that requires like other people to be interested in us and there's that's where we get the money so how many banks we open up how many bank accounts we get to open up in dib for example so there's a lot of other people who who can't fund, they want to get women to open bank accounts and so these are women commission like a commission thing not yeah, really okay. we're actually getting a product like if it works okay. out our, that's our dream it's like we will own the experience like, we don't want to give away that we want to carry our user all the way to the end aisa nahi hai ki bank ke samne aake chhod diya unko ki ab tumhari problem hai so we want to make sure that we hold their hand that's why they trust us that's why they come to us and so we have right now marshall is the amount of clout to say that to a bank now ki if you want to partner with us you give us a bank you give us our product within your system so we will make it we will design it we will put it in our app we will own that you are it's your back end for what you need so that's where we are at right now uh juhi i have one question related to what sabia mm-hmm. asked um uh isn't it a little too unfair to ask about uh, numbers and profitability just yet Should, uh, uh, what do you think that is your focus more on growth or becoming profitable as soon as possible where do you draw the growth. balance because yeah right now growth because right now they look like five years from now we might be something else but I, I, like i said like just like you as a like if i was a uh, what i would recommend a junior developer is now look at your first job i look at getting your first job not like the job you want in 10 years and the first job you get should be something that makes you learn so don't go for money so it's the same thing here like if you, if you, if you go for the first job for money you have nobody else around you that's teaching you you will be a sucky developer for the rest of your life because you have not taken over like uh, your potential you haven't finished your potential so similarly like uh, as a startup our first goal is to get funding right so our first goal is to stand up on our feet and go like this is our architecture we need this much funding to hire talent to pay for our servers and to grow and when you grow is when you realize how much like put, like growth potential makes you realize how much money you can make in other you attract bigger fish so for us right now our biggest thing is growth and potential profitability it's not actual actualizing our profitability काफी सारे जो इंस्टीट्यूशन है वो अपना डेटा देते हैं जिससे आप उसकी रेटिंग बनाते हो हाउ डू यू इंटेंड ऑन डूइंग इट इन पाकिस्तान क्योंकि यहाँ बड़ा मसला है और बहुत फ्रॉड भी है बिकॉज कोई किसी को जानता होगा तो वो फिर गलत डेटा एंटर कर देते हैं कि ये मेरे मेरी पिफी का बेटा है तो उस पर डाल दो या ये ये मेरा मोहल्लेदार है तो 
इससे मैंने बाइक बोरो की थी तो ये डाल दो तो हाउ डू यू लाइक इंश्योर लाइक हाउ डू यू इंश्योर लाइक अ फेयर क्रेडिट स्कोर बिकॉज उससे काफ़ी चीज़ें फिर आ जाती हैं लाइक लोन एंडिंग अप इन लाइक रॉन्ग हैंड्स और डिफॉल्टर्स लाइक बीइंग पास थ्रू द स्क्रीन तो इसका किस तरह आप इंश्योर करोगी it's a very it's a risk we're taking right now and we're developing our credit this is a very good uh, observation um this is why i was interested in iran it's like trying out tried in two ways in a place where the environment is completely different like idhar log apna like for example aapka nadra pe naam alag hai like mera it's only when you have people defaulting like mera nic mein mera jo naam likha hai bande ne uski spelling galat hai agar wo kisi aur duniya mein main kahi aur hoti to wo mujhe change karna zaruri hota legally because i wouldn't be able to open a bank account on an incorrect name but in pakistan that's okay like uh, people mai apna agar bank al fala kholu to mera spelling galat likhi hai unhone mai apna habib bank kholu mai spelling the so this is the world that we are operating in and i i don't have an answer for you fully right now like we have discovered a lot it's of um, ways to validate it uh, there are a lot of new ways we are using but i'm not allowed to talk about them um that's where our bread and butter is right it's a nda sign kiya hua hai humne but there are a few things that we're doing that are not traditional that uh, are are proving to be very successful right now uh it's still in the uh, like kaise samjha hua hai our data set is small so the when we grow we can actually then confidently say that this makes sense in a larger data set so our data set is very small right now for me to go like it's successful but the 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 results are showing ki the what we explained for example normal normal banks no, normal duniya mein kya hota hai ki wo log dekhte hai ki aapki aapki mobile behavior dekhte hai for example ki aap mobile mein kya kar rahe ho mobile behavior mein aise cheeze dekhte hai ki aapke duplicate contacts kitne hai aapki um aap overbook kitne hai so and then through that they also figure out ki how reliable you are when you give money so if you have duplicate con like i have no duplicate contact in my contact list and that person would call me somebody ki oh you know give this person uh money my mother okay, has that's with, that's with smartphones ha like agar wo dusre wale jo normal wale phones and jo like nokia ke hain उनमें तो नहीं आपको ये obviously you don't have access to that data yeah so obviously what what you're saying is uh, is making sense because अगर आपकी कोई proprietary चीज़ है या जिस पे आप काम कर रहे हो it's going to take a while I guess लेकिन इसको control करना मुश्किल है ना in in a country like not really I think it's important to know rep like so we are more confident in our ability when it's not a new user right so when a new, when a user comes into our world we can actually we have a hypothesis set on them in the beginning ki ye is tarah ka user hai and you use and then, ai for that like up ai se usko karte ho abhi abhi is abhi it's just manual we're going to eventually jab paise aayenge hamare paas to usko hum ai pe likh ke aayenge but right now inshallah but right now it's very like we have very smart people behind this sitting down and looking into this data and going like acha is bande ne hamare sath march 2020 mein shuru kiya tha इसने हमें ये हमने इसको ये रेटिंग दी थी इसकी जिंदगी में अभी ये सारा चेंज आया है तो इज द रेटिंग द सेम इज इट डिफरेंट व्हाट हैव वी लर्न्ड एंड दैट्स हाउ वी आर इवॉल्विंग एज वी गो सो द द वेरी थिंग दैट यू आर दैट द थिंग दैट आई वांट टू रियली टॉक अबाउट हियर अराउंड दिस इज इन अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड व्हाट वी आर डूइंग राइट नाउ द जर्नी इज वेरी वेल डॉक्यूमेंटेड अक्रॉस इंस्टीट्यूशंस सो माय क्रेडिट हिस्ट्री इन कनाडा फॉर एग्जांपल is able to de- be determined very well by how i use all my credit cards how i use all my banks what my rent how much i paid my rent on time all of that is available in a second to these people mm-hmm. so the my user journey across this country and even north america like yeah, us is available and that's how they make a credit score in pakistan there's a two issues that journey is incomplete jo aapne jo ek bank mein kiya hai wo dusre bank ko nahi pata like state bank ko bhi nahi pata like we have we are very disjointed and that's also a bad experience in general in other places so that's number one ke we have an disadvantage ke we only can look at our journey so that is very important for us to make sure our journey is very popular and people use it often so we can actually then start giving this credit note uh, a like a a baggage a, a some sort of weight right now the other challenge that we're facing is aapne jo bola hai jo the reason why you can give someone else is like uh, number and name is cuz it's bubbled abhi dekhiye phone phone is a very good example in pakistan now we have that like locked 
फोन्स ना अगर आप बाहर से फोन लेके आए तो वो लॉक हो जाता है सिक्सटी डेज बाद अगर आपने उसको पैसे नहीं दिए फोन के Do you know what I'm talking about? जी 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 जो आपने बात की है डू यू सी के फ्यूचर में जैसे आप मोबाइल वॉलेट पे काम कर रहे हैं फिंजा भी काम कर रहा है सादा पे देर बहुत सारे इस तरह की कंपनीज काम कर रही हैं तेज इज ट्राइंग टू वर्क हेयर एज वेल डू यू सी इन नियर फ्यूचर ये सब लोग अपने लोगों की क्रेडिट हिस्ट्री को शेयर करेंगे और एक कॉमन प्लेटफॉर्म कोई बनेगा क्योंकि हर कस्टमर का जो आईडी कार्ड है वो तो यूनिक है ना उससे आप क्रॉस कंपनीज जो है क्रेडिट हिस्ट्री शेयर कर सकते हैं Yes and no. I don't know. I I I think I can see it as a potential. I don't know who will take it on. And if they take it on, will they do a good job? I I think this will be something that is. Uh, it's not. I don't think the in Pakistan, State Bank will let the credit aspect be not public or not under their domain. So I, I have a feeling that either State Bank or Nadra will have to play a very large part. And I'm I'm on record here, but unfortunately, wherever they are, they ruin the experience. So it's not something that I am hopeful of for, but it is it is potentially available. The I think am I aware? Are you able to hear me? I think I'm stuck. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you all right. Okay, okay, all right. So one one uh, hint for me of that becoming a possibility is you can look at. the mindset of the people right now in sada pay or bikeya by how much they look at other apps and while they integrating so we do that very poorly uh for example um we don't handle for, uh, just abhi bill payment humne ek integration kiya hai kisi ke sath uh unko un bando ko khud nahi pehle jo hum options dekh rahe the un bando ko khud nahi pata ki unki kahan rehti hai easy paisa mein unka bill payment like they don't even take out the time to make customer support documents for their customers to go like bhai easy paisa mein kahan reh rahi hai meri they don't know mizan bank mein kidhar hai unka option this is the kind of people that make apps in pakistan so whoever wow. can stop doing that wow. and look at like okay you know what like this is where you go to make a payment in somebody else's app it, we we don't handle product to in product to product transition very well right yeah, I, so the first have... person who does that I have a like a relevant experience. A uh, couple of years ago, we contacted one of the big uh, companies. Like you know, you know, there are a few big uh, uh, branchless banking uh, um, apps available, and we talked to like ten people in their team, and nobody knew they had a solution there, but nobody knew how it works within the company. Nobody knew know how yeah. they can help a small app like that, and it was very frustrating. And after a, a month or two i just you know gave up on my attempt i said you know i don't need this yeah. you know yeah so this is something in oran that i've told this is a uh, i think or uh, sorry naam ne neema i think naima aapne bola tha so this is something i had to convince uh, oran about and it took me it didn't take me very long but i said to them look if you want to make a great app so i asked them two things you want to help your user through and through right like you want to make sure that you're there for the user across a whole journey you don't want them to feel like you're a bank or you left them outside a bank and they said yes i was like look then you have to put in resources to do better documentation for other people you use like we are hiring people to look at the bill payment integration we did and check every single payment like use their software and go to every single platform so pay with bizan bank over the counter pay with bizan bank online pay with bizan bank bizan bank's app and do that across every single bank that they have capture the experience write it down document it so if somebody calls us and go like hello main bizan bank mein baithi hu uh mujhe mil nahi rahi hai main kaise pay karu we have the answer because we can't rely on that company and that's a lot that's a big project it's a one month project paying people to sit down as she sending people money to like you know pay make that payment so that they don't pay it to the pocket finding people who have banks that we don't have banks with so that we can check out the experience so this is the commitment that's needed to make a good experience in pakistan across credit notes as well anything less than that will be failure because you'll make something it's another data point it's as un, unworthy and as untrustworthy as something like another verification where you can give somebody else's like name or number or whatever um 
this is like a big part of what I think should be uh, a good trusting point for a, a barometer for like an app or a, a product in, in Pakistan is how much do they care about the end experience, not just in their world, but in other worlds that they uh, interact with. Uh, and, and by the way, that is uh, product management 101 for you. I think uh, after this talk, no, everybody has product management 101 covered. You can write it down on your CVs, I think. <laughs> yeah, caring about the customers. And, you know, I'm, by the way, I'm myself learning a lot from here. I will implement those things in my app as well. You know, I'm, I'm because, you know, like we have tried to, you know, uh, go through the experiences and document everything. How do, because people pay us from all kinds of different banks and different mobile apps and wallets. And uh, we have now tried to do the same thing, you know, sort of because it was very frustrating before. And so yeah. in that sense, uh, I think all the students can learn a great deal from this talk and uh, especially the mental models that you talked about and agile. And I have, you know, one question just for the benefit of all the students. If you have to explain agile in five sentences and why it's the superior methodology to other normal things like you linearly think about things, why should all these new students who are starting out development in Flutter should take up agile right away? Okay. So um, the first reason why I think agile should be um, something that people, some form of it, should be used is um, to know that it's a commitment. So you, Agile is helping you complete a promise you've made on a product. So in Agile, you as a team, so I, this is what I say to my team is, we will promise in five days as a team to deliver this piece of work that's fully functioning and profitable to the business. And Agile helps you do that over time and helps you build processes to do that. Um, that's number one. So it makes the team understand it's teamwork and not just one developer sitting and coding uh, or to one designer making a design in a bubble. The other is, and this is true in life, most problems we have with other people in life, like most problems are communication oriented. Like, somebody's having a bad day and you walked in on the wrong time and they snapped and on some other situation that would not have happened. Not many, not many people in this world that we meet on a daily basis, uh, maybe like top, top CEOs can be called like sociopaths or psychopaths, but not many people in our genuine life that we meet are genuinely evil. Like nobody that I have met in my life right now, I can think, yeah, it's good to do it. Like, no. Like there is somebody or the other that has some issue happening. So most in businesses as well, most projects or products, they fail to achieve the goal we want to achieve is because we fail to communicate on time or fail to communicate the right thing on time. Agile sets that up in a way where those gaps are reduced. And you are able to know exactly what you're working on before you pick up something. And you are able to know exact priority of what you're working on as a team before you pick up something. And you're able to know when that scope changes. When a business comes and throws like 50 other things at you, you go like, Bhai sahab, ye thani. Ye kya dal rea? you know that. So it helps to remove these like flaws in communication and helps you deliver things faster. Third, I'm sentence volume, third point, sorry. Um, aapko feedback loop milta hai. Most things in life, you don't improve. Nothing, you can't improve on anything in life unless you do some sort of feedback loop of like, yaar ye kis se mein karu. So Agile builds that in. So every five days, you have to sit down and look at your work and go like, okay, humne wada to iska kiya tha paanch ka. Humne teen chize deliver ki. So ye do kyu nahi ho pai? maybe we need to uh, break tickets down better. Maybe we need to understand time So it does like this feedback loop. So I think that's the three reasons I think it's uh, I would give to at least understand agile uh, and understand uh, scalability is one more. There's many, but like these are the three I would say in Pakistan people would benefit directly from. So, so agile is a good way to uh, work as a team and agile, you know, like uh, 
it, it, it helps to do communication well as a team and uh, it has a feedback loop uh, inbuilt in it and you can iterate and improve and get better over time right so so that yeah, it's a, a good... it's like critical thinking but for technology like it's, it's somebody who thought about this and went like how do i make it across disciplinary what can i what structure can i give to this kind of world so for, uh, for the for the students who don't know agile in agile you divide your work in sprints for example you decide that in first week or first two weeks you, your sprint can have any uh, you decide in your company ki aapki sprint ek hafte ki hogi do hafte ki hogi aap us do hafte mein ek ek feature ya do feature ko decide karte ho ki humne dikha do aap logo ko yeah yeah sure 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 to ek do hafte mein aap us sare feature build karke unko test karke रिलीज करते हो लाइव अपनी ऐप को अपडेट कर देते हो तो दिस इज अ कंप्लीट वन स्प्रिंट इज कि आपने डिसाइड किया उसको बिल्ड किया उसको टेस्ट किया उसको रिलीज किया एम आई राइट जूही राइट यस तो हमारी अभी मैं आपको ज्यादा डिटेल नहीं दे रही कि क्या है हमारा बट हमारी अभी आई प्लान थ्री स्प्रिंट्स इन एडवांस सो प्लानिंग बेसिकली मींस इट्स नॉट लॉक्ड इन स्टोन बट आई प्लान लाइक ये मैंने रिफ्रेश नहीं किया अपना ऐप बट आई प्लान लाइक अभी ये आज प्लानिंग मीटिंग है बाद में इस हफ्ते की और दिस इज द प्लान फॉर वन वीक दिस इज द प्लान फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक दिस इज द प्लान फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक एंड वी मूव थिंग्स अराउंड एंड दिस इज आर बैकलॉग व्हिच इज बेसिकली एवरीथिंग दैट वी थिंक वी विल वर्क ऑन एट सम पॉइंट एनी फीडबैक विल कम हियर एंड आर टीम वर्क्स ऑफ अ बोर्ड सो दे वर्क ऑफ दिस बोर्ड वेयर एवरीबॉडी हैज अ टिकट दैट्स असाइंड इट गोस थ्रू टू डू इन प्रोग्रेस ब्लॉक इन डेव इन स्टेजिंग Uh, done and closed which means it's actually released so things that are in dev basically this is for a developer to go test in the developing environment staging is something where i jump in and go like okay does it work the same way as it's supposed to work we use these a lot we talk in these a lot uh because this is our history then ki acha ye kab hua tha kya problem hui thi sab kuch chal raha hai and i can then like this is something they worked on uh while i was sleeping i can wake up and i can read so this is a setup one aspect of a agile this is a board here are the sprints um then you can have like a backlog pura bhara hua idhar i do the same for our migration team which is a data team has nothing to do with technology i use sprints for them as well uh and then we talk a lot in slack so we have this daily stand up this is our stand up normally in uh, in agile you're supposed to do this standing up in physically but the world has changed like i was mentioning principles and you have to apply them differently across the world so here's where we ask these questions like what task did you do since yesterday what task will you do today do you need anyone's help uh, are you blocked by something um have you updated your jira have you updated like your um comment anybody asked you anything and every day at a certain time all developers write this and every morning i wake up and i read this and if i see my name here i go like iska kaam ho jana pehle unblock karna hai so this, this is part of communication it removes all of this issue ke um main developer ko bolu yaar tumhara kaam kidhar hai wo bole tumhare plate pe pada hai main phasa hua hu ye nahi ho raha like it's all written so i can facilitate like my job is to facilitate the team to make our promise like as a as a team their job is to tell me can we make it are we doing it I have A and B, both are like burning. Which one should I choose? So they know when to lead, when to follow. Like they're not going to make a mistake if they know because this is something Jui needs input from. I need input from from Jui. Technical, like a strategic decision making. Okay, business ko kya pehle chahiye? Main dono nahi kar sakta. It comes to me. So they don't get stuck holding it, going like, "Yar, main kis pe kam karu? Main dono pe kam karu? Main Sunday ko bhi kam karu? Saturday ko bhi kam karu? Phir main three months baad kya company jaun ko? Is company se main thak gaya? So that's very important that way. any questions uh i can uh, i have one question to we are in the process of implementing jira in our company so i just wanted your feed, uh, your uh, your like uh, uh, how uh, for new people how many days how difficult or how easy is it to learn jira and come to speed and be productive hmm Okay, so I'll answer this in a very roundabout way. Um, this is something I was taught very, uh, I would say, very late in my life. If I had learned this earlier, I would have been a lot like I would achieve most of the goals by an earlier age. Um, किसी ने मुझे ये बोला था एक चीज़ के 
try to focus your time, like learn, spend more time learning things that change slowly over time uh, and spend less time, still spend time, but sp spend less time learning things that will change a lot faster. So to me, Jira is something that I would not dedicate one to two, like I wouldn't dedicate a course on. It's something you throw somebody in the water, let them try it out, give them the tools. If you make a mistake in Jira, it's super easy to correct. Just tell, the, just tell them one thing, delete me, can I will fight. Everything else is reversible. So um, my team still hasn't learned fully Jira, but right now we can function. And in another month or two, they'll learn a little bit more. I learned it the same way. The first time I went in here, I was like, yeah, kya cheez hai? Abhi to bhoot saaf hai, jo mein, jo mein jira istamal kar rahi ho. But agar aap jira classic pe jai, to aap, malab ki dar jai ke. You, you think you've uh, logged into some medical software, ki aap isme na hearing aid ki details dal rahe hai, or uh, like lens creation ka software, is tara se bana hai ho. So I would say there is no set time. It's really about what you want out of a team. I would recommend there's no point giving a course on jira. It's something that will change really fast. There's 10,000 other softwares. I would focus more time on the principle, like understanding Agile, because Jira uses Agile. Like Jira is built, it's a software built to implement Agile. So things like somebody will understand the concept of a backlog, a concept of a sprint, a release, uh, any of these things easily in any software you use, whether you use Trello, Jira, if they know the concept of uh, like Agile. So I, like I, don't think my development team knows how to use it fully. I don't use story points right now. Story points are a very big part of Agile. Unke zimaaf mein nahi aana tha bhi. To maine nahi kiya. O do maine baad mein kar lugi. So I'm up, I'm implementing it. I'm throwing them into the water and I'm just increasing the depth as I go. Similarly with the Trello, I'm doing the same. I I for my um, hum ek startup hai. To humne apne dust log uh, is Jira ki free plan pe humne full kar diye. To baaki jo log hai wo nahi aa sakte. I will have to pay. Uh, $7 a month per person to get them into Jira. So we have to think of these things when you're a startup. So I've moved some of my team onto Trello, my migration teams on Trello, and I've set it up the same way. So it's really all about the software. It's about the tool, uh, the concepts that you want them to learn. So the same thing in in um, in Trello for them to use. There you go. So I don't know how to answer that. I would say uh, whatever you do, don't give a crash course on Jira. Probably yeah. in like three years, I don't think it'll, it'll exist. I think a better software will be out there because they're very slow to change. I don't know. I understand. I wasn't considering to give a course, yeah. but I I just considered, you know, will it be take, will it be take, but you answered that. So I understand. Probably it will take yeah. a couple of weeks to come to speed. You come I mean, it will take and some it, time. And, yeah. To be honest, it, it depends on the developer as well. I, in the beginning, the first team I had was difficult. Their mindset was, I have been working for seven years in this industry. I know how to learn something from them. Like, man, like they couldn't take they couldn't take direction from a woman. They couldn't like learn anything new. I do this. Zero learning. So I've hired people like we've hired people out of college, out of university, because we don't want that ana right now. So we have two very very net new. One of them is a 19 year old. Our first developer was a 19 year old, still in university. We still have him on board. He's sitting in Alabama. We're going to university. He used to be in Habib University in, in Park Karachi. He got a job, he got, a, he got an admission with scholarship into Alabama. We were like, look, you can continue working, continue working. Not only Salkai. Dusar Bandai, who Nawab Shami Betha Vayabi, who Hyderabad University, se graduate with a teen mine, teen mine graduation candle of Hamnus Choir. Superb people. The other two people we hire right now, they're, they're a little bit more senior, but not like they're jumping into that senior bandwagon because they haven't learned those habits yet. So they, it's easy for to teach them small, small things. Purani team, both young log te, par ana ego both ta. Sikhani me mushkil hoti hai. Any other question? Anything else? Ji, uh, apne koi uh, apne wo kiye uh, like rounds kiye funding ke. Uh, have you like gotten any round of funding? Uh, we're in series A right now. So we're actually gearing up this past, uh, two months have been rough and the next two months will be rough. 
So we are uh, talking to investors. We're in that phase right now. Are you are you talking to like private VCs or? Uh, like... uh, yeah, we're not gonna get anybody in Pakistan. So yes, we're talking to. We try not to get a man to invest that's Pakistani, unfortunately, because they have other things that they want to do. So we we're looking for people outside um, of uh, Pakistan to invest. But yes. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, just one last question. So all the women that you um, uh, that use your app or all the people that use your app, they're Pakistanis, right? Uh, yes. Okay. That's not something that we want to stop, though. Uh, we are building the, yeah, the, the, we're building a new app that is able to take on international numbers and international deposits. So that means you can be wherever in the world, Pakistani, not Pakistani. That's why we're not doing Nadra, fully Nadra certification out of the bat. So does that mean you must have done studies, which are, which are the cultures around the world who have been doing committees historically? It's a very, very old tradition. Everybody has it. Vietnam, Sri Lanka, India, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, most African countries still use this. It's something like uh, before this was the barter system. So this is like not something very Pakistani only. It's just that uh, in places like uh, Canada, you are access to loans and the average person to access a bank is much better. So this has gone away. But uh, in, in, especially in cultures that are more family driven and so socially driven, like Canada, US is now independent. Like they're individuals that you, you care about yourself and your immediate family maybe. And it's, it's less now, but uh, they're still there in uh, most Asian countries, most African countries. And if you go into rural, rural parts of like even France, you'll be able to see it. And even I think South America. I think about huh. or, and have you uh, seen uh, your competing apps like apps in other countries for example money fellows I think yeah. Yeah. So, I think their presence is very good yeah. so, you have a Facebook presence? Uh, me? Uh, I don't have I'm not on Facebook Oran has a Facebook presence oh, yes. Or, or, okay, yes Oran That's I was asking okay, okay. most of our main people come from our Facebook presence because community is very important so most of our people are driven by like uh, Facebook groups that uh, want to do a committee together or want to start and, like and, trust. And, and, and Juhi, a, a relevant question to that, uh, what is your marketing strategy? Are you waiting for the letter release to start your marketing? And by the way, I noticed in, in, in App Store, your downloads are not much, you know, probably you're getting downloads on Android more or maybe you're doing offline more things or are you waiting for the Flutter release? Um, there's a lot that is right now. So our marketing is very natural. So I, uh, and I can't speak too much about my marketing because it's not part of like the, the vision that uh, I was given. I, I'm sure I'm going to start talking about it with the person who's, uh, who's handling it. Um, but there's a lot of uh, very natural marketing that happens. There's a lot of like, we don't want to go and push our product in front of somebody's face when they don't want to see it. So it's really our marketing happens by people who've tried us and tested us and they talk. So if we get one influencer, for example, Scary Ami is a group in, on Facebook. They, the woman started using our um, committees and after two cycles with us, so our, our return is quite, our marketing investment is quite long that way. because You have to go through a cycle to go like, but she, she, she encouraged a lot of people to get on this and we got we continuously for the past year or so we've been getting a lot of people through through that group because they come and ask these questions there and they plug in oran that's number one number two is our marketing a lot of our uh, marketing isn't for our committees a lot i wouldn't even call it marketing it's like coke studio for coca-cola coca-cola's budget for coke studio is advertisement like the entire Coke studio was an ad for Coca-Cola. It had nothing to do with Coke in terms of like, you know, like directly, but it has it had a very big like aspect. It's one of the most successful music programs across the world, Coke Studio Pakistan. It started all the other Coke studios. Um, so the, similarly, what we're hoping to do and we're getting organized is understanding financial topics. Like what do people want to know and do better? So that's what our goal is. So we have like 
things like Mondays with Maya, where we talk about how to budget, how to get a proper budget. And that's what you, well, that's what we're hoping if we invest more in, we'll get more people to come to us when we are, we, when we have that product, when we get there. Uh, it's similar to like insurance companies. There's an in, insurance company in Canada who did a little bit of research in not Canada, in America, who realized that we sell insurance at the wrong time to the people. Like we explain to them insurance is when they need it. We should explain to them what it is a lot earlier in their life. So they started this process where they went like, okay, you're in your 20s. You don't have a child. You're not married. You don't have a mortgage. Understand insurance now. So when you need it, when in your 30s and late 30s, when you have a kid on the way and you're like looking for a house, you think of us. Yeah, really, uh, really uh, very um, uh, uh, so many insights in your um, in your discussion. So I'm wondering, where do you get that information? Is it from books or are there special blogs? You mentioned a blog, FB. And are there other blogs and studies that you, uh, blogs and uh, what are your sources of uh, learning, continuous learning? I'm just curious because oh. you have a lot, okay, of, so... uh, lot of practical, uh, um, uh, you know, sort of real world examples that you've quoted. I'm just, you know, inspired with you. Okay. I right, um now I'll get to your question in a bit. Uh, uh, Farnham Street is one. They have a they have a regular uh, blog. They also have podcasts. So what they do, the whole goal of this guy is to get people who are just smart at something and just explain how they do things. So there, his podcast is really good, and you get a very cross disciplinary kind of like, group of people. So there's a poker player I learned a lot from, and she explained how to think in bets. And uh, there's a concept I use that she taught that I use at work as well. It's like, I have a bias on my own decision-making. Like, I think I'm, I've done a really great job. But I often we think, you know, like we can give good advice to ourselves. We can't. So you need to find somebody who can give you good advice because he or she can't see your bias. Like she doesn't have, he doesn't have the same bias as I do for my own decisions. So that's something I learned through her, like thinking in bets, like breaking emotion away from decision-making. Yeah, it's a lot of money on the table, but like, what do I do with it? Like, what would I play, play it like? And it's very hard to do that when it's money. Like when you have like $8,000 sitting on a table and to then emotionally take yourself out of those 8,000, it's hard. So Farnham Street's one. Uh, I try to read books that are very cross-disciplinary and they have nothing to do with like uh, the main technology topic. So Sapiens is one, uh, Guns, Germs, and Steels is, is another one. Um, a very difficult one to read through is Flow. Uh, it took me a while. Uh, so I have these books that I like. What I would recommend in terms of books that have completely like changed my mind are things like um, System Thinking in Systems. It's a book uh, by Donna, Donella Meadows. Uh, this is the first book that I can recall that really made me go like, wow, this is something I want to focus my life on in, in my work. Because what, what she teaches is uh, something that you can um, really apply. So it, it, it explains to you how to think higher level than just like your work or your, uh, your um, life. Then there's a book called The Compound Effect. And it explains the psychology of like, Compounding is a very beautiful concept. Like you put a little bit of money in. I know it's haram in some places, but like the idea of a habit compounding. So you start one thing and how it compounds and affects you in other places. I think this is a very good book to get started on how to build uh, systems that compound. Uh, Farnam is a very big go-to for me. It's vast. You can't stop learning it and you always have to go back into it and um podcasts and i think there's a podcast uh i i think when we talked first for the first time i love i love the way it explains history in a different manner so you know articles of interest i told you about the pod podcast it's uh this podcast 99 percent in invis uh, invisible right naima aapka sawal hai koi aap please puche Come on, yes, ma'am. My question is uh, related to your professional journey. I guess you had a degree in philosophy and then you went to media school and mm -hmm. then to this uh, development. What, what was your inspiration on each stage? What was my inspiration? How do you feel and how do you feel that all of these things are connected together? Okay, uh, that's a good question. Um, so I went into philosophy. So my major was philosophy 
चुकी इन प्रेडिकेट लॉजिक आई वॉज नाइनटीन सो इफ यू इफ आई लुक बैक राइट नाइट लाइक मेरा ये गोल था मैं झूठ बोल रही हूँ लाइक मेरा गोल था मैं मेरा इनिशियल था कि मैं यूनिवर्सिटी में जाके मैं फिलोसफी एंड आर्ट्स लू सो विजुअल आर्ट्स और लाइक ग्राफिक आर्ट्स आई वॉज इंटरेस्टेड इन दैट but they weren't letting me take that course arts ka minor because i had to sit through all of their um, courses which i already done in since like 6th grade so mai 2000 dollar per course nahi dena chahti thi for something i already learned just so i could get a degree in my hand so i switched to international relations i was just like a side thing i did philosophy i took is because i am who i am and the way i think right now is because i had that course the one thing i can say that 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 taught me is i how do i put this like i had to read more books in my one term my first term than my friends in sciences or business school had to read in their whole four years so in that one term every term i had to read a lot of books and a lot of theory and a lot of lot of knowledge so i am who i am today because of that uh, practice so i am able to take something that's hard to read and read it and understand and break it down into something that i can use very fast so i can like not, if nothing else if i learn nothing else from there that's one aspect that they have to that training ki mujhe ye padhna hai abhi ye ye mujhe 20 kitabein padhni hai aur mujhe har din do kitabein padhni hai aur ye 4 saal straight and as some of these words are like 600 saal purani english jo ab istemal bhi nahi karte aap matlab ki us tarah ki english and i had to do philosophy philosophy is a starting point of most now most um topics we know of like philosophy of medicine was actually the first form of like philosophy of law philosophy of like literature philosophy of religion there are all things that are larger concepts philosophy of economics so i i took each one of them and it tells you the high level principles of each kind of um con- conceptual thinking like moral philosophy makes you understand things like you know how much privilege we have ki hamare paas ek ghar hai it is a laws like not like in, in canada you know a lot of sleep in your car so if it's parked in the street you're not allowed to sleep. what kind of law is that like if i mashallah say i have a apartment why would i want to sleep in a car so that law never impacts me the person that impacts the law is already homeless already like problematic so it kind of kind of makes you understand ke how to i would never make that law if i had to write a law i would never make that one because you're actually making the underprivileged more underprivileged so um things like that have helped me a lot in who i am now in how i think and what i like to do um predicate logic is a, the the specialty i did in philosophy which is basically the starting computer science ka starting point kar le usko it's basically if then statements very complex in like uh, english so it's like if uh, all people are blue i am a person i am blue like it's like that and breaking it down into like arguments so most uh, that that skill set for me is very important right now because i can break if you tell me something for example you talking to me i can very easily recognize ki iska jo ye lafz istemal kar rahi hai wo main samajh i don't think the meaning i have of that word is not the same as the meaning she has so it's very quick for me in like conversations to go like acha can you pause here can you explain to me for a minute what you mean by agile or you know can you explain to me a pause for a minute can you explain to me what you mean by offline payment so i think you and i are talking about the same thing and i don't want to waste 20 minutes talking about the same thing because we call it something different so that's what it's taught me uh my digital design degree to be honest i did not care about what i learned i strategically went in there to get a network like i was paying for a network like i i think the only thing that i did over there was meet good people and meet good instructors and get the ability to get my foot in the door into my first job that was my goal so i wanted to be in tech fell they say i was i had been in a startup that failed uh, it taught me a lot like i think i learned a lot more in that failing than i did in the first year two years of my uh, at my work that i got employed in um so that was why i did that uh, digital design i needed to have some sort of like certificate or some person behind me saying yaar isko tum hire karo um in terms of what i learned there um nothing that i i knew illustrator i knew photoshop i knew all of these things before i actually failed all my video courses cuz i told them in advance ke mujhe nahi jana iske andar like i don't have time for this like i don't want to be like a graphic designer or a video maker so i'm not going to attend all the courses 
and if you don't attend more more than if you're absent more than 10% of the classes they automatically fail you so i had a failing grade in like three of the classes cuz i was like i don't have time for this like i just want to make my graduate project i want to get out there and i want to and i told them in advance like the instructors ki boss ye hone wala hai no disrespect and they respected that so i got my first job out of that place and i have great 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 people that i know out of that place and then oran i think right now i took over from like iq metrics i learned a lot about mental models and it's a great place to learn because you can actually approach anybody and talk to them and so i learned a lot from my peers and i learned i was able to approach somebody and go like look i like how you do this so for example i love this one guy he could just say no and people could walk away happy like maine jab pehli dafa product manager job li thi to mujhe itni bridges maine burn kiye because main cheezon ko no bol di thi aur us bande ko main itna gussa kar di thi ki mujhe pata tha ki jab isse mujhe kaam chahiye hoga na to ye ye no yaad rakhega aur ye phir mujhe tang karega so i had to learn the ability to how to how do you say no without making somebody feel bad about it and i, I that's a very important thing that that place taught me and then oran is some place i think i can see my next 10 15 years in like it's massive like i want to if it succeeds right now and i think it will like i want to be the cover of whatever magazine says yo man these are the first it is the first islamic bank that is led by women it is the first pan asian like it's massive that way and i i see that potential and i believe in it and i i am somebody who decided when i jumped into iran mai pehle as a consultant i thi i think that's the first time i met amir as well okay but when you go into consultant role you spread yourself too thin across different places so you can't give quality to each place uh so to me i don't like that i'm sorry to cut you but what's the um islamic aspect of it sure like there's a duniya mein there is a concept of sharia compliance and the idea of how do you if there is a concept of like fee charging it's it's a whole like institutionalized or like certification you get so we are sharia compliant so you know how there's like the okay. there's like the islamic mizan ka bank hai aapka aur ek aapka regular checking bank hai. it's literally that so it's like different uh, it has a different requirement so it's like sharia compliance across the, yeah, yeah people yeah, ask that kya aapka yeah one, one of the requirement is uh, that you cannot uh, have too much debt you have to be stay within the limits and you, there are requirements and it's available online uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, you know as well so, uh, so there's uh, like so, a full document uh juri thank you very much and i think yeah. uh, two hours very well spent and we learned a lot from you and i think thank you very much for uh, covering those you know like uh, i i could not have done this good job of teaching them or you know inspiring them in product management I'm, and in, in, in too kind thinking. Yeah, no, no, no. It's true. I, I could have not done even this much in ten classes, and I think you've done a wonderful job. And and they, and I'm sure we will be discussing those things, and we will be coming back to those concepts in next few classes. And it, in this class, students have enough material to go on and study these books and resources for like five, six months as they continue their their journey. So, so it's a long term learning thing. They have to learn about agile, more mental models, and I will. come back and learn those things myself as well so thank you very much and uh, always a player and i think i was very i was right about uh, uh, you that you know i i thought you know like i was very right about you that i could we could learn a lot from you you are a thinker I'm glad you are a thinker you are an intellectual and your multidisciplinary approach definitely there's something about your unique background that uh, makes you very uh, deep thinker and you can Uh, eloquently explain things that a lot of other people cannot so thank you very much for being you and thank you very much for taking out time and coming to our class and uh, i'm just very happy we did this thank you so much for having me and if anybody has anything that they want to follow up on please feel free to reach me on linkedin or uh, again uh, i may can give you my uh, details as well so if anything i missed out that you come up with later do let me know and anybody here who wants to like work for oran uh, just uh, reach out uh, pass on their resume and whenever we have an opportunity to like grow uh, i'll definitely uh, look at that look at them and keep the, this class in mind thank you thank you so all right much. okay have a good thank one everybody allah hafiz allah hafiz